Hey guys, um, I'm just going to uh, show you one of the wheels on the RV. I'm going to change the, um, well, kind of change the uh, bearing lubricant on the RV tires. Um, I'm not fully changing them, I just kind of use a nipple, inject fresh lubricant into the uh, bearings, which pushes out some of the old stuff, and then you're good to go. I've never had a problem with it. I haven't done it that much in my life, but uh, my uh, my stepdad's um, done it a lot, and they've had their trailer for like 20 years. So anyway, uh, so what I've done already is I've jacked that up in there. Hopefully you can see that. And then uh, I've loosened I've loosened the the nuts with this. And then I'm going to take them off fully with this. I know it seems lazy, but it's a lot quicker. Now, <laughs> one of the reasons why I'm doing it that way is because I already did that tire. I had to replace the tire as well because that's a spare. But anyway, I uh, already did that tire. Yesterday, I went out and bought uh, one of these. Different brand. Okay. Uh, DeWalt brand. It got through a tire in a bit before it stripped. Uh, it was made for an impact drill because I'm using an impact drill. I even tried a regular drill, which uh, that stripped it as well, the previous one. And then today I started doing this tire originally. Got one bolt off. Yesterday's one broke this part off here as well. So this one seems to be a little stronger, but if you look closely, hopefully you guys can see that because I'm not sure how good close you can get on these things. Um, it's stripping this already. Designed for an impact drill and everything, but it can't handle it. So, and then I put it on the regular drill and it's stripped all around here. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, it's still working enough because it's got some grip left on it. Uh, these are pretty good drills though. I mean, they're uh, pretty powerful ones. So could be why, maybe they're just more powerful than most drills, I don't know. But anyway, um, what I'm gonna do from now on is loosen it with the ratchet um, whatever you call that ratchet thing, uh, loosen it with that and then take it the re take them off the rest of the way with this. All right, so just give me a second, I'll come back and show you that. Okay, got a new tube in there, so let's try again. This, this thing's not been cooperating all day, so there we go, it's going. So uh, these things can take, like I said before, I think uh, half of a container to a full one. I guess it would probably depend on your trailer size or your wheel size or whatever, all that stuff. So like, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know, but I'm assuming uh, different, different RVs will take different uh, measure, different amounts of uh, lube. So see what I mean? This just stops. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I've been fighting it all day long. And like I said, I'm going to get a battery-powered one, so this doesn't happen anymore. Because this is annoying. Okay, let's see if I can get it to work again. It kind of works, but... again. Let's try it a little bit more. That 
there's a suction again. Actually, that might be okay anyway, let's see. Oh, there we go. Nope, I'm just gonna need some more. The goal is to try to get it a better mix of the light stuff. It's not far off being done. Basically, you're just pushing out the old oil, uh, lube with the new. But I'm having a heck of a time with this thing today, and I'm on my last tire, so I'm getting kind of grumpy with it. Okay, back again. Hopefully for the last time now, because I'm not going to keep doing this with this uh, pump. There we go. There. Okay, that's doing it again. I'm not going to keep fighting it, guys, but you get the point. So I would go and get uh, more of that out of there and make it more like that. But I put like half a thing in there so far, so I think it's going to be good for now. And uh, I'll go get a new one of these and uh, worry about it next time because these are good enough for now. So anyway, that's that. I'll put that over there. So yeah, then you clean up. Ugh. Gross. So anyway, then you clean up the area here. Wipe off all this excess. Yeah, it still could definitely do with uh, some more in there, pushing out the older stuff, but. It'll last a long time now anyway. It's quite a bit of fresh stuff in there. I cleaned it up a little bit. There you go. Get this stuff out of the way. Get that out of the way. Okay, and then put your nipple back on or your nipple cover back on. Make sure it's clean. Slippery hands. Make sure it's clean and in there really well because you don't want it falling out or getting. You know, definitely don't want uh, you don't want dirt in your bearings. That's for sure. Okay, so then you get the tire. Grab that. Oh, okay. Make sure that's on because I've put them. I've put the tire on without that a, a few times. Not this time. But, uh, in the past, and uh, you have to take the whole tire off and do it all again. It's not fun. So, so make sure you remember to put that on. There we go. And then what I do? Put this on. Remember, this isn't the this. Uh, you don't want to use the drill to fully tighten it, right? You want to alternate bolts. You want to alternate bolts so it doesn't uh, over tighten on one side and not enough on the other. <clears throat> or nuts, I should say. torque wrench. Mine's set to 90 pounds because that's what's recommended by the manufacturer for this trailer. I think I gotta set that the other way. And then you tighten them. You can actually even let it down at this point actually because... There we go. 
Okay, we got the tire moving on. Okay, I'm click. Move it down here. Click. And as you're tightening, you want to tighten one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Got enough idea. Like I said, it gives it a more even, more even uh, distribution there. Okay. okay, guys. Well, that was a little more frustrating than I thought. I didn't show you half of the stuff that was annoying me, like the jack not working and parts breaking and stuff, but uh, you get the gist of the idea of how to do it. Like I said, I'd like to have um, switched out more of that lube, but frankly, I'm sick and tired of fighting the, uh, the lube pump there. I'll go pick up another one. And... Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is I'm getting ready to hook up my trailer here. I got the Hero Black 10, um, which is actually what's recording right now. And uh, I also got the Hero Black 9, I just got the 10 because I wanted two GoPros and uh, I bought them close timing to each other and didn't realize 10 was coming out. So when the 10 came out, I bought it. Um, luckily. Well, maybe luckily. <laughs> but uh, I've been using that mainly for the videos so far and uh, except for the like tractor videos where it's driving. And uh, I got a lot of work to do on this camera. It gets really, really hot, really, really fast. And uh, they're saying it's not a big deal, but it actually is compared to the nine anyway. And then um, another thing, when you're, you saw me walking a minute ago, probably it was quite wobbly. Uh, they said they're gonna fix all that, but the nine was perfectly steady with that. So I'll probably just shoot with the nine for now, but uh, anybody wanting to buy one of these GoPros, I'd wait, cause, uh, or get the nine, because this has some uh, spec jumps, but uh, right now it's just not ready for prime time as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, I'll set you up here and uh, be back in a minute. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention too about these GoPros, the uh, hold on a sec, the new one, um, the GoPro Hero 10 Black, uh, doesn't the voice commands don't work all the time either. Um, this particular camera. The nine hero black um, works great. Sorry guys, uh, works great. So the voice commands work perfectly every time, pretty much. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the the new one. I guess it's firmware stuff and all that. But you know, again, it's like one of those things. Like delay it. I guess it's Christmas time. That's what they're aiming for. I guess. So as I say, delay it a month and get the software uh, going properly on it and then release it but uh these companies just seem to rush everything out sometimes so anyway i'm just backing up to the trailer here which you probably see on your screen as well because i'm recording two different angles here okay all right i'll be back okay here we go That's a bit lube on this, but I've uh, had enough dealings with the lube for the last couple of days, so no more. I know there's a joke in there somewhere, but uh, I'm going to go higher than I get down to. Messing with this truck. Hold on a second, okay. Nice thing with this truck is that it uh, has a couple cameras, uh, so you can so you can easily um, line up as you reverse and stuff. Uh, my old truck had a reverse cam too, but 
This is much, much better because it's got the little line and stuff. And maybe I'll show you when we're inside the truck here. Hold on. I will show you there. I just have to get this lock off first. Man, it's hard to figure things out with one hand. Alrighty. Okay. Put those back in my pocket here. Um. There. Okay, so I got a thing. This has, let's go to reverse, has the, I don't know if you can see that, has a reverse cam, or the line, and then it's also got this. Now some of this, uh, some of the other ones with more fancy packages in them, um, have like eight different cameras for different things, like a bird's eye view and all that stuff, crazy stuff, but anyway. But yeah, that's it, and uh, let's see if we can do this here in one go. I think that's probably good. Park. Set. Oh, roll back a bit. Roll back a bit. Hopefully, it didn't uh, do anything here. Yeah, a little too close, see? Because it rolled back. Hate that. Otherwise, it looks like it's perfectly lined up. Oh, okay. Let's go forward just a tad. There, that should be good. There we go, looks like it. Looks like it should be good. Like I said, I should have put Luger on the ball. <laughs> Jeez. Man, that sounds bad. Uh, I definitely should have put lubricant on the uh, on it here, but, you know, I'm lazy. What can I say? I just don't feel like it today. One of those days. I didn't really do that much with my old hitch either. And it lasted. I could have still used it with this truck, but this truck needed uh, this truck needed a lower it needed a, a bigger or longer hitch so I can lower it more because uh, it's a lot higher than my old truck. So uh, I had to replace it, but I didn't. I never leave the other one. You know, it's probably not a good thing, but because I think it shrinks the ball size over time. This conversation doesn't sound good. Okay, anyway, uh, let's pick it up here. Good there. All right. Let's see if we can do this now. Too hard to do it with one hand. All right. Done. Let's get this down. Push it in. Put the lock back on. Of a bad angle, but it'll do. And then this can go into the connector. There we go. All right. Now, normally I would uh, test all the lights right now, but we're not leaving till tomorrow, so I won't check those. I'll get uh, my wife to check those before we leave. Pick up this tire that I changed. Put that in the back of the truck for a spare. Ooh. Stinky slinky. I gotta 
I'm gonna, uh, speaking of the stinky slinky, I'm gonna put that, um, I'm gonna get one of those uh, tubes, like uh, sewer line tubes or whatever, PVC pipe or whatever it is, and uh, put it either on the back of the trailer or, this trailer is extremely low, but I could put it somewhere underneath it too, but I think I might just put it on the back tailgate because I, frankly, I'm just picking up garbage here, guys. Uh, I'm sick and tired of uh, losing the, oh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm sick and tired of losing these things. Those caps, I lose them all the time. I'm kind of tired of it, so I'd much rather just uh, put a PVC pipe on with the twist on ends. It'd be much, 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 much easier. So anyway, that's it. I think it, I think that's it for today. Uh, I want to relax a little bit before we head out on our drive. I don't mind driving, but I've done this trip eight times or something this summer or more. So I'm kind of tired of driving, but I do have a brand new truck though. Looks like a 20 year old truck with a little dirt, but they get that this summer. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and uh, hopefully I didn't bore you too much or jump around too much in this episode, but uh, Anyway, leave us comments, subscribe, and uh, let us know what you want to see or what we're doing wrong besides the obvious. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. See you later.